hello Scorpio welcome welcome to window to the soul my name is Gemma and I am here to read your Celtic cross for March 2021 um, it has been brought to my attention that I've been saying 2020 <laughs> instead of 21 in some of these readings we all do that don't we um, you'd think by March I'd have got with the program um, but we get so used to saying last year's date. Um, I used to do it I, when I was a teacher. I used to write the date, um, especially January, February. I used to write the previous year and then, you know, you try to change it subtly. But it, depending on what number it is, it's not always easily changeable, is it? So apologies for those of you that I've um, said that little mishap there. Let's get some energy on the table for Scorpio. This is a Celtic cross, so this is not necessarily intended as a romantic read. There are romantic readings on this channel for Scorpio ready to go. You have, ah, blessed, blessed. This is such a beautiful card, Master Number 22. It is a card of reassurance above all else Scorpio it's a card that yes prompts us to count our blessings it's a card that reminds you to take a moment to smell the roses and to look around you and notice all that you do have that you can be grateful for all of those things yes but it's also a card that kind of it's I you know can you remember that the picture of the cat holding on to the the lion trying to hold on and it says keep your chin up hang in there hang in there it's a card that says everything's going to be okay Scorpio and you will see that everything is going to be okay very very soon so just hang in there hold on chin up take a deep breath everything's going to be fine so Yes, count your blessings and all of that stuff. Of course, we should always do that. But it's reassurance. And that does suggest to me right now, Scorpio, you could possibly do with a little reassurance on an issue surrounding a situation that you might be dealing with in March. To accompany this, we have... Ah, Sahain, death. Okay quite likely that something is closing up some kind of cycle is completing in your life here you might be stepping away from someone or something or they may be stepping away from you um death specifically in tarot it speaks of an ending of course yes um, there are many cards that speak of endings, but death in particular, it does have that sense of the inevitable, um, like a natural transition. Change is reliable. Possibly something here you knew was not forever, and this could be absolutely anything in your life right now, Scorpio. And yet, I do feel a little anxiety surrounding this you know that 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 need for reassurance in the face of this ending that's coming in also worth bearing in mind that Sahain is of course um halloween and that is the energy we could be talking quite specifically you know that something happened around october late october halloween time last year or maybe in previous years that might be an important date for many of you not necessarily exactly the 31st but around that time that harvest pagan harvest time um but it's also a time where the veil is the thinnest so it could be that you are kind of getting in touch with akashic records themes of past lives and ancestral things we'll see what other cards come up for you today and see how this energy plays in but i think first and foremost i'm being prompted here to tell you everything's going to be okay so just take a big deep breath for me if you are worried or anxious or nervous or hurting in any way 
everything's going to come out in the wash as they say and it's going to be okay so nice big deep breath for me please the lovers is your central energy for march wow okay <clears throat> i did say that this might not necessarily be a romantic connection and it still may not necessarily be a romantic connection but for many of you possibly it is and when we look at the death maybe for some of you a romantic connection is closing out now is ending maybe that is a very literal way maybe there's a certain chapter that you have with somebody that's closing out and that's not a forever goodbye situation but there's something here that you long for that you yearn for could be that there was a split a while ago scorpio with somebody that you do deeply still deeply care for and perhaps this is the moment where you're moving into the space of accepting wow i guess this is really over then perhaps you had hopes of reconciliation and reconnection that have not manifested Let's see what else we have. Crossing you is the Eight of Swords. Yeah, that's that's a card of interference, um, being trapped, especially in your mind. But interference very much suggests there might be external circumstances that have interfered within this love connection. Other people, perhaps. Um, third party situations in terms of circumstances or people or things that just kind of got in the way um that have prevented you from being with this person what lies at the root of this situation is the ace of swords there's the revelation yeah i think you're kind of it's dawning on you this this is really done isn't it this is really over perhaps as i said you split up you know technically you split a while ago but there was hope there and maybe maybe given a little bit of time we'll come back together and that has not manifested and now it's like i guess that's it then and that that can be no matter how long it's been no matter how much time has passed that that can be quite a a daunting revelation recent past for you here scorpio is the six of cups oh goodness me yes yeah, soulmate energy lots and lots of nostalgia thinking back on the table here here and here what's on your mind the wheel of fortune changes ringing in those changes coming in in the near future is the king of pentacles there's some stability and some security um taking your responsibilities very seriously coming in there that's that's good energy it's good um advice and guidance for you scorpio is the justice card fabulous energy to be in this position what do you need to know the three of wands we can move on you can move on you can you can do this um hopes and fears the four of wands yeah yeah okay i can see what's going on here potential outcome here for march please the seven of wands healthy boundaries um <clears throat> blocking resistance perhaps you have actually been blocked by somebody or perhaps that's something you are about to do perhaps energetically literally what you've got going on here scorpio is a fairly even distribution of fire swords there's a lot of fire the wheel of fortune is fire as well this is all up in flames here you only have one pentacles card which is coming in the future you only have one cups cards um this is all air energy so we've got a lot of air and fire air and fire is a fabulously explosive combination um the love seems to be in the past and the stability seems to be coming in in the future for you here um perhaps you are hopeful for what is next in your life um perhaps you have been overthinking a situation to a great degree to be fair the signs here for you today scorpio gemini is here twice um but it gemini is also both of these central energy cards so gemini is incredible even though you know there's what else is here uh aries is here twice for example right here 
um, with the four and the three of wands here. But Gemini is sort of smack bang central here for you. So I haven't actually read for Gemini yet. That's actually next. After I've finished up your reading, I'll move over to the Gemini Collective. Um, so there might be something in the Gemini reading for you that's important, especially if you're dealing with a Gemini or you or someone you're dealing with has a lot of Gemini in your chart in other placements, moon sign, rising sign, Venus sign, that kind of stuff. Definitely something to to bear in mind. Um, Scorpio, you are also here as well, but that's in the past energy here. Sagittarius is here. Libra is here and Leo is here as well. Major Arcana for Sag and Libra. Central energy here, there is a yearning, a longing. Um, sometimes the lovers is a card of, of choices, more of a moral dilemma. Um, it's a prompt to not make any decisions based on guilt or fear or worry or shame. It's a nudge to open your heart to your true feelings. And it speaks of a deeply felt mutual connection. And there is a deep connection here. It's here as well in the past energy. This is not somebody brand new, Scorpio. Far from it. In fact, this is somebody that you have previously shared a very, very deep connection with. Let's get some clarification on all of these for you and see where this one takes us. The Prince of Discs. Okay. This is the Knight of pentacles um it's hesitant it's slow to respond it's perhaps overly cautious um usually um the knight of pentacles does have a plan he, he has a plan and he's taking the time to kind of make sure all of the groundwork is up to scratch before he's moving on to the next thing and from the outside it can appear frustratingly slow um it could be i feel we're, we've waited i feel scorpio that you've waited for your love to manifest to come back in to come in with somebody i think you've waited for somebody and in that interim period either other people have interfered and have delayed put delays and blockages in your way or you've simply felt that your hands were tied there was nothing that you could do and this very much suggests to me that the onus of this movement was on the other party involved you have been waiting for somebody to come to you because for whatever reason you were not able to come to them and from what I can see it's been a long time it's perhaps reaching the point now where you're recognizing it's been so long now i don't think it's coming full stop this is the point of revelation here to so go along with this eight of swords is yeah okay so this is like i've given them time to think i've given them time to reflect i've also thought and reflected this is the four of swords jupiter and libra it's a card of rest and recovery and retreat and exile. It's a card of a time out, a time out. So in this time out period, I think you've both kind of gone away to your separate corners. But I do believe somewhere in here, at the very least for you, there was absolutely an expectation that this would come back, that this would come back around. And I think the issue here is, how long do you wait? I think, yeah, you've kind of, I don't think you've necessarily put a specific time frame on anything. So whatever, you know, for some of you, this could be different lengths of time, but it's, it's hitting that point where you're recognizing, well, all of the thinking and the reflection surely has now been done and they're still not here they're still not here right so here's the revelation this is what's kind of causing this crash this need for reassurance this fear within you this this hurt and it is like a 
and, and I very much felt this at the very beginning. This is something I feel there's been a split a while back. A separation. Ace of Swords, here's the revelation. Uh-oh, this it's not happening. It's, they're not coming. Yeah, this is a tough reading. This is the Nine of Swords. More Gemini energy. Gemini is just all over your spread right now. The Nine of Swords, it feels a bit cruel, doesn't it? It feels a bit cruel, like you've been very, very, very patient here. Um, I think perhaps you might be a little depressed about this, certainly worried or anxious. Perhaps you feel like, I must have failed. I must have failed. Um, it's It's a harsh revelation to arrive at. I can see that it really is. Um, that's my Alexa. Sorry. I have no idea why she decided to get involved in your reading there, Scorpio. I'm trying to reflect on what I might have said that she was listening in on. A little bit creepy. <laughs> Recent past here. It's it's reflection, nostalgia, looking back. It's It's one of your cards. The sun in Scorpio memories. Um, I think the hope for reconnection and reconciliation was here with you for a while. I think this is you kind of waking up to the cold, hard realisation that 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 you held on to, that hope that you held on to is it is just not happening. And if this is something that you're resonating with right now, Scorpio, I have to say, I'm sorry that you're dealing with this pain i can feel it i can feel this pain i can i actually i'm i get a, i'm an empathic reader i feel what people feel which is why um like when i get a little bit fired up or angry or frustrated it's not me it's me tuning into the energies and i get people in the comments section saying oh you need to calm down or oh, you've been super judgmental and what they don't realize is it's not me it's not my reading it's not my situation i'm tapping into the energy and right now i just feel sad really sad this hurts this is a horrible realization when you've held on to hope in this way and i'm so sorry for anybody that feels the way i'm if you know the way i feel right now it will be uh like a one percent of what you're feeling and that's tough that's tough um let's get a card to go with this the four of wands it's here as well look we've got the four of wands here twice so what was in the past is now a fear slash hope for you um this is union this is commitment this is stability and security and happiness this is venus in aries which is of course venus the planet of love aries very bold decisive action orientated sign so this is basically making a decision in love i choose you this is what you were waiting for you were waiting for somebody to come back and choose you it's very clear very very clear actually this would suggest it has not happened so here you are on your mind trying very hard to change your mindset here um you don't know what's next the future is hidden it's a mystery you, you everything is now kind of up in the air uncertain but what you can be certain of is that it's time to enter a new cycle because whatever's gone on here you have to put something to bed now The Princess of Cups, were you waiting for an apology? Were you waiting for a message of love? Are you still, there's still a part of you that's hoping? Is this like the last chance saloon here? Forgiveness, understanding, is that what you were hoping to get the opportunity to be forgiving, to be understanding? It's, this is like the it's the beginning it's kind of shy it's it's tentative it's the first few steps i think you were willing 
I don't think you wanted to kind of rush back into a romantic connection with this person, but you were willing to hear them out. You were, you have moved into a space of forgiveness and understanding for what has passed. And I think you feel you've missed your opportunity to tell this person, I do forgive you. I do understand. I actually do take responsibility for my part in this. I think you really, really hope to have a really, like a conversation of reconciliation. But when they, in the, the fact that they have not come to you, and I see for some reason, I don't know what that reason is, but for some reason you have not been able to go to them, the fact they have not come to you has not given you the space or the opportunity to express the new place that you are at and it's not a place of anger or resentment or judgment or bitterness it's now a place of forgiveness and understanding and you, you it's not you can't direct it anywhere and that's incredibly frustrating so now you have to just take all of this stuff that you've spent time figuring out and building up and put it somewhere there's where there's nowhere to direct it and, it, and i think it's it's sad for you it's frustrating i think it's very important for you or it has been very important for you to feel that you could share these sentiments to share the conclusions that you've arrived at with this person and yet for some reason that opportunity is not available to you and that's just really sad i think you would like them to know that you're no no longer angry Moving into the future, we definitely have this sense of stability and security coming in. Um, could be you finding a distraction from all of this, throwing yourself into work, throwing yourself into people that trust you, people that rely on you, people that you provide for, um, people that you're like a role model for, um, focusing in on that as a way of diverting your attention away from this because this doesn't feel particularly nice i would suggest this is actually temporarily a good distraction because this can be this is kind of overwhelming so what's going on here the justice card okay so making a firm decision you know you've got the justice card here twice now as well um we have two repeating cards and the four of wands and the justice card so we've got aries Venus specifically because Libra is ruled by Venus the four of wands is a card of Venus so Venus is what's coming through more strongly than the signs right now the planet of love but also the planet of abundance the planet of money essentially um, because your abundance often comes from money and I feel um, what you're investing in what you're turning your attention to here is something that you know can be fair because this is not fair it's there's just no there is no equal balance here now you can wish and desire for there to be an equal balance within this situation as hard as you want but that does not make it so what you are doing is pragmatically identifying this is something that is i can i can put something in and i can get something out of this situation so this is where i should be focusing my attention i would say this is a good tactic because the same card here is in your advice and guidance position so i would say what you are about to do what you're in the process of of focusing on is where your focus should lie for now yeah ten of pentacles similar kind of energy focusing in on your family your friends your loved ones your co-workers people that collaborate together people that work together people that are on the same page you need me i need you um i can, i will invest and i will receive equally within this dynamic i think that's what you need right now i think you need a little bit of fairness this is very very unfair and it feels there's really nothing you can do about it because you know you your hands are tied eight of swords central energy crossing you what you need to know is the three of wands which is a card of your ships coming in it's a card of building bridges it's a card of 
um, enterprise, trade, discovery, foundations, travel, progress, expansion. Um, it's a card of looking out to what's next for you, what's coming in with a sense of certainty. I think this is a redirection of your energy away from this, what's going on here. Okay, the Two of Swords. Okay, so you're not looking at this. Um, you're closed off to hoping for the future right now. And I think it's because we are being pulled back into the past very hard right here. So the idea of considering what's next, considering a future that does not involve this person or this situation is challenging and difficult for you here we can deal with the immediate here and now here we reflect very heavily on the past but as far as looking forward that's a challenge this is telling me that is completely possible for you to do but it would take a concerted effort i would suggest right now you do this focus right now on the here and now breathe count your blessings be grateful for what it is you do have in your life that equal give and take that balanced energy that you've got right here if you feel yourself pulled into the past it's okay it's okay to sit with that if that's where your energy is directed right now if you feel you just cannot stomach the idea of making long-term plans for your future because you're just not ready that's also okay one step at a time scorpio i can feel the pain it's visceral um be gentle and kind to yourself here don't force yourself to be something that you're not um in your heart in your mind in your guts that's where i feel the pain in in, in my gut uh, if it makes me feel sick i feel a little is that does it make you feel a bit sick in the stomach that's what's coming through your hopes and fears here, you're still holding on to the past because it's the same card, the four of wands here. You, you fear that you basically are never going to get over this, that this is just always going to be with you. Um, it won't, it won't. But the thing is, you know, we speak about well, time heals all wounds. I don't actually believe that. I think time teaches us to live with it but i don't think time itself heals anything um a concerted effort and working through the pain those are things that will heal but time itself is just we just get used to it we just get used to living with the pain um there's nothing here suggesting that there's anything really for you to do right now other than just focus on what is in this moment for you and take your time be gentle with yourself um it does take time but it takes more than just time and i think you do keep being pulled back here yeah the hermit it's that's good energy i mean it's going within it's virgo energy it's isolated you know hermit mode um isolation uh soul searching it's there's the healing process so i think you are doing the work you are healing and not just because time is passing but because you are actively working through and sometimes that working through that healing process can definitely not feel anything like healing it can just feel like it fucking hurts okay um but that means you're pushing through it pain is like a brick wall and you can try and climb over it you can try and dig under it you can try to ignore the fact that the wall is even there but at some point you have to run head first at that wall and break through it and i think you've had a few attempts <laughs> you've come a, a come a scupper um and 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 hit that wall and it's and it's turned out to be harder than you thought and you've not managed to break through i think you very much 
have a hope here that, that that's something you absolutely can do. Your ultimate outcome here is the seven of ones, which is a card of like endurance. Like keep up the good fight. Protect yourself. Mars in Leo, it's 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 warrior mode. It's um putting up a fight. I think you will have to fight for your own peace of mind here. I think you will have to fight for this healing po process. Getting over heartbreak is a fight. It is a fight to push past. Um, there's, it's also a kind of blocking and resistance. Perhaps it would help you, for some of you, very small few of you, to actually actively just block this person across all social media platforms. Not because you want to prevent them from coming to you, but you need to stop yourself from looking at their stuff. Um, because it might not be helpful for you in this moment. But the ultimate outcome is you coming out swinging here and saying, yeah, I'm not just going to passively sit and be a victim of this pain. I'm, I'm going to fight it. I'm going to fight it. I don't want this in my life anymore. I want to get over this. I am going to run at that brick wall head first and come what may, I will get through that thing the seven of cups it's, it's scary isn't it? it's one of your cards it's a card of illusions it's a card of unrealistic expectations um i think that's what you will be working on adjusting your expectations of this person i think the fact that this person has not had the balls to step up and come back and have some kind of restorative conversation with you is a cause can be a reason for you to see this person in in a in a slightly different light dare i say the word coward just putting that out there for some of you to consider um you can see this person in a different light what they brought to you was not fair was not mature was not adult was not constructive or helpful um i think they just ran away they did they just ran away cowards run away um and i think you can see this person kind of let the mask slip a little bit take off the rose tinted spectacles see this person's true colors all that kind of thing um you're working through a great deal of pain here i can see that for sure which is why the first card that came out for you here scorpio was a card of reassurance and what i will say is your energy is in the past your energy is also in your outcome and the death card also relates to scorpio so here is you doing what scorpio can do scorpio above all of the other signs can cope with this kind of shadow so you will be good you are going to be okay and perhaps today you know, I haven't really given you anything tangible to go and work on other than just focus on the here and now, which is right here in your advice and guidance. But I think above all else, perhaps you came here today and the universe or spirit or, or however you like to see it just wanted to offer you a little bit of reassurance. OK, so please, we started off the reading with a nice deep breath. We're going to finish off the reading with a <sighs> nice deep breath, Scorpio. I wish you so much love and healing and I wish you well. Do take care of yourself one step at a time. You've got this, but it, it, it's, it's a process, okay? I love you guys very, very much. Do take care. I'll be back really soon.